Alright guys, welcome back and in this video I'm going to be finishing up this little mini series where we have a main menu already and we have that toolbar that we created in the last video. So the only other thing that I want to show you guys how to make is, if I can copy and paste this, is that status bar at the bottom. So what this is, like I said, is basically just a little indicator and it's going to change and I'll show you guys how to change it uh, through your program later on but for right now I'll just show you guys <coughs> oh my oh my my darling would you imagine that alright so right now what I'm gonna do is just create a basic label however this isn't just gonna be normal text on a screen I'm gonna show you guys how to add some really cool properties to your label to make it appear as a frame kind of like hacking Kinter so the first thing is where do you want it to appear in your root? All right, simple enough. Now the next thing is the text is basically the status. It's going to say something like um, file saved, uh, two items selected, whatever your status is. And I'm going to show you guys how to change the text on this later. But for right now, we'll just say preparing to do nothing. Just going to be status static text that isn't going to change so for this example it'll be fine now what I would like to do now is show you guys one other property and it's BD this stands for border so pretty much whenever you have a label you can actually have a border around it now it's not going to look that weird whenever I add two more properties to it the first is relief now this I spell it right. I before E except for C. Relief, relief, relief. Okay, got it. That's a song I had to remember when I was a kid. So this actually takes a couple properties, and just think of it right now is how you want your border or how you want this item to appear. Well, we want it to appear like it's sunken in. In other words, sunken in your screen. That means if we just had a label at the bottom, you're like, what the heck is that text doing on the bottom? But once we have a border and add a sunken relief it's gonna appear like it's pretty much placed in your screen just like um I don't know like a status bar usually is now right now the only other thing we have to do is we need to anchor it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set anchor equal to W because remember this means north east southwest never eat soggy waffles that's how I remembered it so west means make sure that your text appears on the left so eventually whenever we pack this in we're gonna pack it on bottom but we want the text or the label we don't want like one in the middle or on the right we want to make sure that check this out what I just hover over you see how um this pops up whenever I hover over these buttons you see how it always appears on the left that's what we're going for so the only other thing I have to do now is status pack it in how do we want to pack it in well of course we want to pack it on the bottom and the only other thing that we want to do is we actually want to make sure that it takes up the entire width of the window so let's check out this one on PyCharm right here all status bars they take up the entire bottom actually there's one program that doesn't and it kind of annoys me I forget what it is it might be internet I mean it might be um Google Chrome actually so fill X of course that's going to make sure just like the toolbar it takes up the entire width so now let me run this bad boy and check this shiite out so as you can see it doesn't just look like normal text on the screen right now even though it's just a label it has a cool border over the top it appears the width of your whole window no matter how wide it is and also the text appears to the left and sunken in so that's why the border kind of appears to be inset rather than I don't know just like a normal line on the screen so that is how you make a status bar and of course like I said I'm gonna be showing you guys how to change the text on this later depending on what you hover over or what you do so that's actually all I have for you guys for this tutorial if you wanna check out the next tutorial feel free but uh if any of you guys have some time then check out these. I actually made some t-shirts for my website and uh, I'm a really awful graphic designer so 
This one is just a basic one, and I actually like this one. But this one I made for the trade section, and it seems to be like missing something, but I'm not sure what. So if you ever made like a sauce, and you're like, this needs one more ingredient, but I don't really know what. That's what I, I get that feeling whenever I'm looking at this t-shirt. So if any of you guys have any suggestions, um, I'm just going to be giving this away to like my moderators and some people who helped out with the website. And this one I'm going to be putting in my trade section just so I have something other than like video games and crap like that to trade. But tell me what this needs because I can't figure it out. I need your help. But anyways, that's all. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.